This video is brought to you by Mubi, a curated streaming service showing exceptional films from around the globe, plus a ticket to the cinema every week. Get a whole month free at mubi.com slash anupama. Thappar is the story of a single slap, a blow to the cheek that Vikram, angry, frustrated, a little drunk, inflicts on his wife Amrita, who's attempting to steer him away from an escalating conflict. This is an affluent Delhi home. Vikram is an ambitious, hard-working executive. Amrita is a cheerfully dutiful housewife. They seem snug in their respective roles. But that night brings into sharp focus the inequity of their relationship. It's almost as if Vikram slaps Amrita awake from a slumber and then it becomes impossible for her to fall back into that facade of domestic tranquility in which she is, without a doubt, a second-class citizen. The beauty is that director Anubhav Sinha, who's co-written the film with Mrunmai Lagu Waikul, doesn't tell this story in a strident tone. He doesn't demonize men or create shrill drama. He simply and quietly reveals the patriarchy, which is embedded so deep into our culture that even women who are independent and successful can't escape it. So when Amrita seeks legal counsel, even her lawyer Netra, a woman with this flourishing career, initially advises her to let it go. She asks, just one slap then? implying that it doesn't seem enough to create such a fuss. Women perpetuate the power equations as much as the men do. Vikram and Amrita's lives are structured around him and his needs. Anubhav establishes this from the first scene in which Vikram is prepping for a meeting and casually ordering Amrita to get his file, get the printer fixed. We see their daily routine. She wakes up early, gets everything in place, runs after him with his wallet and coffee as he gets into his car. The nameplate on their home has only his name on it. Amrita and her mother-in-law are invisible inhabitants. But until that slap, Amrita doesn't question any of it. She's found her happiness in being his cheerleader and Man Friday. Anubhav stages a slap with skill. Sound leaks out of the frame. Amrita's face as she walks away is frozen, like she can't fully comprehend what has just happened. What happens next is even more telling. She walks around like a zombie while family members sagely advise her to get over it. In one scene, Amrita is lying with Vikram in bed but staring at him like she doesn't know him anymore. Thapar's power comes from these carefully constructed insights. It's a tightly knit screenplay in which a throwaway line tells you everything you need to know. Like when Vikram sees their single working female neighbor drive by in an expensive car, he derisively asks, Ye kya karti hai? Anubhav and Runmaya have created characters with flesh and layering and placed them in situations that hit hard because they ring so true. Irrespective of your gender or your economic status, you will see something of yourself in Thappar. In the way that many of the men are just oblivious to things outside themselves. Or in the way the women make compromises big and small. They snuff out their dreams because it's what they've been taught to do. The conditioning is across class and generations. It's telling that the film puts a housewife front and said, she is the one to break this endless cycle of bardash karna, and her courage empowers every woman she comes in contact with, including her mother and mother in law. Thapar's strength is that you invest as much in these supporting characters as you do in Amrita. The persuasive acting lifts the content higher. Tapsi Pannu plays Amrita with absolute conviction. She has both strength and fragility, and she doesn't hit a false note. You never doubt that the meek and happily submissive Amrita is now taking such a big step. Watch out for Tanvi Azmi, wonderful as the long-suffering mother-in-law. Kumud Mishra is Amrita's loving father and Ratna Patak Shah as her mother. They share one of the film's best scenes, in which the film shows us that sometimes even the most evolved men can be willfully blind. And newcomer Pavel Gulati holds his own against these veterans. He and Anubhav don't let Vikram become the villain of the piece. He's just your average, entitled Indian male. Thapar suffers from a soft belly. Post-interval, the second hour sags for a stretch, but the film recovers its grip in a masterful puja sequence in which Amrita bears her heart. I can guarantee that this scene will make you cry. Because Thapar isn't just about Amrita or Vikram. It indicts us all. The film compels us to question our complicity, which is the first step to change. I strongly recommend that you see this film. Now to tell you a bit more about Mubi. It's a film streaming service that premieres two new films every day showcasing the best of Indian cinema on their Mubi India channel and classic international hits on Mubi World. This week, I highly recommend you check out Shekhar Kapoor's sensitive and compelling directorial debut, Masu. It's a gentle exploration of complex, guilt-ridden marital relationships. It's streaming now on Mubi India. As part of your subscription, you get a hand-picked cinema ticket every single week to see the best new films at your local PVR cinema with Mubi Go. 
And because your friend's a film companion, you can get Mubi and Mubi Go free for 30 days at mubi.com slash anupama. That's M-U-B-I dot com slash anupama for a whole month of great cinema.